The Trojans are also doing what it takes to beef up their other sports programs this year. Coming together as one, that's what Moroa Forsyth is doing through a co-op program, at least for three of their sports teams, golf, cross country, and tennis. This is relatively new sport for a lot of high schools, and ours this is our first year last year doing tennis, and the numbers are really great. The Trojans are joining Warrensburg Latham, a huge benefit for sports programs in a school where only 300 students are enrolled. As that gives us numbers by ourselves or Warrensburg by themselves, they probably wouldn't, we would, probably wouldn't be able to have a program. Head cross country coach Erin Atherton says thanks to the co-op program, she now has up to 10 boys and another 10 girls to make up her teams. Our best girl runner is from Warrensburg and our best guy runner is from Maroa, so it benefits both sides. And I feel like I'm treated as an equal. Maroa Forsyth cross country runner Madeline Hubbard says running as one with rival schools gives her and her team a great sense of community. Warnsburg Latham, um, they might be like our biggest rival with Scholastic Bowl, but whenever I'm running with them, we're just friends. Now, Friday will be the last time the Bulldogs and the Trojans square off in the regular season, as Maroa Forsyth will join the Sangamo Conference next year. If you can't be in the stands, you can still check out the game on our sister station, the CW23. Our pregame coverage starts at 6, kickoff is at 7. I'll bring you live reports from the sidelines throughout the game.